Hey guys, um, so this is the review of the Dodo Cool 802.11 AC wireless USB adapter. You can use this in um, laptops or desktops which do not have the AC compatibility. Uh, so you can get uh, access to your 5G Wi-Fi if you have dual band routers which is much much quicker than the regular uh, BGN routers so this came with the adapter here the CD the driver and a manual now I've already installed the driver on my laptop my laptop only has um, BGN support it does not have uh, AC support so I need a adapter like this to get access to my um, 5G internet connection. I have a 150 Mbps connection. Uh, okay, so I've already installed this. Uh, installed the driver on my laptop. You just plug it in and it, uh, a utility pops up and you can just hit next and install the driver. So let me just show you by doing a speed test. So right now, I'm only connected to the Wi-Fi on my N adapter. It does not show. Uh, this is my the kid the one written KTM is my 2.4 gigahertz connection, and um, my 5G connection will be written as GOT 5G, but that is not showing up on here right now because my laptop does not support. Um, the 5G band uh, or the AC band on here. So let me just do a speed test first with my regular 2.4 gigahertz connection. Yeah. As you can see, it's coming up. Now my room is pretty far away from the router, so um, I do get almost 150 Mbps when I'm downstairs on my on my um, iPhone or other laptops which support um, 5G connections. Um, but my room is on the upper floor on the other end of the house, so the router is pretty far away. Um, so as you can see on the 2G, I'm getting 2.4G, I'm getting about 44.96 Mbps download and 54.94 Mbps. Uh, although my connection speed is 150 Mbps, but it's understandable it's, that it's a little slow since it's since I'm pretty far away from the router. Uh, now let me just try installing, uh, put plugging in the. Sorry, yeah, plugging in the Dodo Cool Wi-Fi adapter. And now over here, you're gonna see two Wi-Fi uh, boxes, uh, the Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi 4. First, I gotta disconnect from my regular laptop adapter. That's disconnected. Now I'm gonna connect to the. See, this is the my 5G connection, the one that it says GOT 5G. It's already connected because I've already set it up before. So. Let's see how this adapter fares. It does not have an antenna, so maybe let's see how it does. Uh, huh. Well, that's surprising. It's actually getting slower speed than the... Um, well, let me check, because sometimes it still stays connected to the 2.4. No, it's not. Uh, let me try it one more time. I'll disconnect, then connect again. That's a little faster. 
There's a lot of fluctuations going on. See, there you go. That's the final speed that I got. 55.69 Mbps and 88.57 Mbps. Now that's not, I have used other Wi-Fi adapters and that's not the fastest I've gotten. Up here on my room on the other end of the house, um, I've almost gotten close to 110 Mbps on using other uh, 802.11 AC Wi-Fi adapters. So I can't say this is very good. Um, it's okay, it's a little faster than the 2.4 gigahertz, but the other ones that I have used had do, did have antennas, so that's a little understandable, I guess. This is a lot more easier for portability, and you can just put it in your pocket, or, you know, just on the run, you can just put it anywhere. Um, so, yeah, that's it, guys. Um, I'll give you one last shot. <laughs> Look at the fluctuations. The, there's a lot of variations coming in simultaneous tests. I don't know. Now it's only getting 27.47. Just before this, it was getting up to 55. I don't know. Now, if I go to the other end of the room a little bit, the signal gets a little stronger. So let me see if it, if it, now first I'm going to show you just with the 2.4 out here, the speed that I get. This is again with the 2.4 gigahertz uh, connection with my inbuilt Wi-Fi adapter. So here on the other end of the room, it's a little closer to the router, although it's still on the lower floor. As you can see, the speed got a little stronger with the with the N band or the 2.4 gigahertz band. And okay, so there it is 54.08 and 51.85 on the 2.4 gigahertz. Let me again try with the. Let me first disconnect the 2.4. And again, when I go back to the 5G connection, let's see how it fares again when it's a little closer to the router this time. Oh, wow. Look at that. Well, that is crazy. That's a lot of fluctuation going on there. As you can see, it's got 146 up from 55 from when I was testing it in the other end of the room. So I guess the thing about this adapter is that it has lower range than the ones that the ones with the antennas have but once but if it is within range the speed it gets pretty good speeds so that's a good thing one more time oh wow that is even faster than the my package i mean it's i have 150 mbps it's giving me almost full even when it is on the upper floor although it is closer the signal is closer from here. Look at that. Look at the upload speed there. Wow. Amazing. Okay, so that's it, guys. This was the review of the Dodo Cool. That's a funny name. Dodo Cool 802.11 AC Wi-Fi USB adapter. Um, yeah, if you need it for smaller houses or within short range, I would definitely recommend this. So go for it, guys.